All right, uh, what's up, YouTube? This is El Scheiser uh, recording a video on how to uh, reflow your uh, GPU and CPU on the PS3 to get rid of the uh, whole YLOD situation. Uh, I got my flux here, flux pin, uh, no no clean, so I don't have to clean it up after I'm done. Uh, my Arctic Silver thermal paste and my heat gun. Uh, so basically, what you want to do is uh, take apart your PS3, get it down to the PCB. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, there's plenty of videos on it. And then what you want to do is take your solder or your flux pin and uh, go ahead and take the VGA and you're going to want to pump the pen to get some flux out of it then once it starts flowing, there's flowing now turn the board around so you guys can see it turn the keep pumping and uh, get that flux to flow through that VGA now eventually we'll see it come through on the other side so I'm just going to keep pumping until I see that. Make sure we get enough flux in there so that our solder joints are solid and uh, solder is wet enough it doesn't crack and give us any more Y logs. Especially since this is my second time doing it. First time I didn't use flux. And I guess where I am. Back with my PS3 broke down. So definitely important to flux it. Especially if it's your second or third time doing it. It's your third time doing it. I don't know why you didn't look this up a second time. Alright. Well, I got some flux flowing through there. So uh, just make sure that it's kind of flowing good. Now I'm going to do the same thing to these four chips right here. These are a little smaller, so hopefully they'll be a little faster. Yeah. That one. Go ahead and put it in the metal here. Well, sit there. Flow through and get to all the joints. Four little connectors again, or four little chips that we want to flux to uh, go ahead and get those joints nice and wet. And that is what she said. Onto the metal here. Right about here, where you get really tired of holding the pen. But also, don't want to buy a new $200, $300 PS3. So.
Ecco chi dice. So now it's time for the fun port. Use our handy dandy heat gun. And uh, I'm about to blow you guys' minds. I want to tell you that we need it at about 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, mine only goes to 800, eight, between 800 and 500, so I'll just turn it a few clicks under 800 and uh, wait for it to warm up. And then I'm going to go over each region for about uh, 20 to 25 seconds. And uh, I'm just going to make small circles. Don't want to get any spot unevenly heated. So this is my second time, that's why I'm doing it for so so long of a duration, 20 to 25 seconds, um, each chip. I really make sure that solder gets a new, or rejoins wherever it broke, which is what caused the y lod. I just want to get small circles and heat up each chip, even amount of time. After we do this, we're going to go ahead and let the board sit for 15 minutes. We don't want any of those joints that we just reformed to go ahead and decide they don't like us again. So. That's why it takes so long, that's why we wait so long. But, uh, as I'm sure you all are, all are well aware, it's much better to wait 15 minutes than to not have a PS3. So, small circles, 20 to 25 seconds apiece. And, uh, I'll rejoin you guys after about 15 minutes. So we're just going to do the same thing, uh, like I said before, about 750 degrees Fahrenheit in your heat gun. Uh, mine, like I said, goes between 800 and uh, 800 and 500, so I turn it a few clicks under 800, and uh, that should get me where I need to be. So once again, we let the heat gun warm up, and... Uh, then spend 20 to 25 seconds doing small circles over each chip. And uh, I didn't mention this before the last two chips, or the last side, uh, but we really need to make sure that we have the board as flat as possible to make sure when that solder melts it doesn't flow to where we don't want it to go. 20 to 25 seconds on each chip. Move to the next. And, uh, when this is all done with, we need to get our thermal paste ready. And everything I've always ever read, it says uh, Arctic Silver is the way to go, the best uh, thermal paste out there. So. Once we get this done, one a few seconds over there, that's all right. Now we want to uh, be, be very still so the board can cool properly. Uh, another 15 minutes, like before, and rejoin you and show you how we're going to apply the thermal paste and then put your PS3 back together and be good to go. All right. All right, YouTube, it's uh, been another 15 minutes. So it's time to apply our thermal paste. Uh, I ordered this Arctic Silver off Amazon, and now I have no spreader. No spreader came with it. Generally, when you buy 
uh, thermal paste, the spreader comes with it. But I guess when you pay a premium for thermal paste on Amazon, you don't get a spreader with it. So that's cool. Whatever. Uh, so I have a little hotel key card that I found that I'm going to use for the spreader. Uh, basically, you're just going to take your thermal paste. Make sure I'm on camera here. Uh, take your thermal paste, and I like to lay a nice little line of it across the top of the, just as even as I can get the pressure to get uh, even a little mix there. And then now I'm going to take my uh, makeshift spreader, and it'd be nice if I had an actual spreader. Okay, that's not going to be enough. This is my first time using Arctic Silver. They used to work at Best Buy, so I had an employee discount on Dynex stuff, and so I've always used Dynex thermal paste, but I'm out of that now. So, moving up to the moving up to the big boy stuff apparently. A little more thermal paste looks like. I'm gonna apply it in the same place. Kinda try to still even it out. And uh, you, know, you want a real thin layer because the thicker you make it, all it's gonna do is when it gets warm, it's gonna drip. Especially if you have your PS3 uh, vertic vertical, vertical invert, man. But seriously, if you have your PS3 vertical, all it's gonna do is drip down, and that's not gonna do you any good. You don't have thermal paste over an area. It's not going to help with the conductivity to the fans, which is what the thermal paste is doing. So you don't want air bubbles. You want it nice and thin, spread out evenly. All that typical stuff that comes with thermal paste. Like I said, your thermal paste is what uh, connects these chips to your fans. So, obviously, it's important to have good heat conduction. Looks like I got enough for my PC still, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, even, even spread, and uh, yeah, so that looks good. Looks like we got what we need there. I'll try to put it on camera there for you guys. Sorry about that, but uh, there's the Arctic Silver. Looks pretty good. All right, so now it's done. You know, you got them reflowed. Um, hopefully, it won't get wild on me. We need to uh, some PS3 time in. But anyways, I hope this video helps with you guys. Uh, you got any questions? Feel free to message me, uh, comment, subscribe. Please subscribe to me. Uh, I'm trying to make new videos. Uh, you got any ideas? Message me about them. And uh, I appreciate it.